You know, you never know who you'll find walking the miles of flight line and acre upon acre of aircraft parking here at Oshkosh. What were the wooden braces there for, Bob? Exterior ribs. Oh, exterior ribs for the gas tanks. No room for the ribs. Put them on the underneath. Vintage aircraft are rare, but finding vintage pilots who can still hoof it around the North 40, rarer still. Meet Bob Bushby, EAA member number 26. Said he would have been among the first 10 if he'd raised his hand a little faster. I had been selling kits for the Midget Mustang way back in the 40s. So Paul Cole Beresny stopped in to solicit my activity with the EAA. He said he was going to start an organization for us home builders. Bob says he had to borrow the $5 to join. Since then, he sold thousands of the Midget Mustang kits he designed. Today, though, he doesn't get around quite as fast as he used to. But at 88, he still loves to get up close and personal with the planes others bring to General Aviation's Mecca here in Oshkosh. Although, he'll polish anything he touches with the love of a craftsman. Having built four and owned 38 airplanes himself over his years, Bob's still flying and amazed by the size of AirVenture today. This is fantastic what it is today. I thought our 12 airplanes at the first one was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bigger than that, isn't it? It's wet, wet wild, yeah. And you won't find a bigger advocate for general aviation. I always tell them it's the greatest hobby there is. I don't know, I got friends sitting out there in that stupid 55-foot cabin cruiser in Lake Michigan, and all they can do is drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the world. Right, yeah. Well, thank you. Appreciate it, Bob. Very nice meeting you. And with that, it was time to move on. Don't know if we'll run into any more living legends, but more planes and people to see. Paul Moses, AOPA Live.